Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace. And that sunset though looks great. Or sunrise. I don't know. It's one of them. It's definitely one of them. Anyway now, let's have a look at doing some side quests and challenges because that's just the name of the game basically. Looks like I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually need to get some stuff though, so... Let's just go straight to... Actually, I think I'm supposed to be doing, um, Koroks hunting, so I should probably do that instead. I know what I'm doing, it's only been a week and a half since I last played this. Okay, let's do Daruk the Goron Hero. I should have the proper equipment already. I forgot about all that. That's okay. Let's switch up the characters for a little bit. There's still some really low-leveled characters with us, but I don't think they're going to get any... They might get a little bit of XP from this, but it's okay. So, let's just go into this. It's recommended level 5, so I shouldn't have that much trouble with it. And let's do just a regular battle, I think. Okay, let's go and see how this is gonna go. Well, there's definitely nothing over here since we've already got everything over here. So let's go see what we can do over this way. We can see the treasure chest on the map, so that makes it super easy for us. But it means I actually have to go do it. Oh, there's a Korok nearby. Very nearby. Ow. You know, if I'm willing to bet where some of the Koroks are, it's probably just like a rocky wall that I need to blow up somewhere. Since I didn't know that those types of Koroks existed. Signal is less over here. A lot less over here. So it's probably across this bridge. And right over here. Right there. And I probably should have counted how many Akoroks I needed. That's okay. I think I needed three or four, so that's one. Where's this thing that I'm supposed to be doing something about? Hello, I'm he here to defeat you because that's what the mission wants me to do. Sweet point smash. There we go. Now, I think I can go the other path to get that chest. But I'm gonna go this way first. And see if I get a thing telling me that there's a cork nearby. I need to capture the outpost anyway. Ow. Pain. Pain. Stop shooting at me. Ranged enemies seem to do that a lot. Hello. Oh, Wiz Rope, what have you done? That was a mistake. Okay. This is quite a large map. It's probably not going to be too bad. But it's very large. Which is concerning. It's gonna. There's probably not much on it, but it's just running around mostly, so. There's a box there, which has nothing of great value in it. Ow. Ow. Ah. Everything's fine. Oh my goodness, just run, please. Okay. We made it up here. The outpost isn't very far away now. It's right over here. Oh, and there's a Korok over here. Is it over here? No, the signal's less over here, I think. So maybe it's in the outpost. Let's see. 
anything that looks like a Korok in here. Oh, there it is. I can see it. I just need to move. Please, game. Thank you. Grab that. I think that's the second one we've grabbed. I wish I could see mission details from the mission. At most. I can just blow him up though. That almost killed him actually. Everything just does a lot of damage to everything now. Let's go along this path this way to try and get that tre treasure chest. You want me to change characters? Why would you want that? Ah! Why would you want me to change characters when I'm dying? Ah, my goodness. It just does not run fast enough. Yeah, the treasure chest is over here somewhere. Oh, wow. This is a very out of the way spot. That's probably a good thing if you want to hide a treasure chest. Now, let me go the other way, along the other path, to see if there's any Koroks along there. That's actually the advantage of this map being, like, small walkways kind of thing. That's the best way I can explain it. So, because it's small walkways, you can... You'll be on range of Koroks whenever you're near one. There's no walking past one and not having the thing beep at you. Where is the treasure chest? Over there. Grab that. Then just go down this path and then we can go the other way. Yep, there's nothing here. Except for death. Just death. So should I actually go this way and keep going up that path? Probably. Make a little bit more sense than going down the other way and around. Just a little bit more sense. Not a lot though. Okay, made it through that without getting hit. It's a little bit harder than it looks. Just a little bit. Okay, let's go through you. Oh, lots of things there that I'm just ignoring. I'm glad I'm just so strong against these enemies that I can just run over them with shield surfing and be fine. Oh, hello. You're gonna die now. Looks like there aren't any Koroks over here. But they might be on the road down south. Since I didn't take that path. And possibly didn't take it last time either. Hello. And I'm gonna blow you up now. There we go. Okay. It's possible that the enemies on this path down here distracted me from actually getting collectibles. Oh my goodness, goodness get up. This will work. Ow. There we go. Just keep going down this path. And see what happens. Let's use our special. So that's just going to destroy anything in one, one go. Nothing beeping at me so far down here. But there is a chest back here that I apparently missed. Probably because I wasn't going into the buildings much. Okay, we point smash here. And I'm gonna keep going down the path just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Although I think that's the way I'm supposed to go anyway, so that works very well. Ready or not, here I come. Okay then. Cool. I think we have maxed out our hearts though. I was uh, mentioning that 
level 70 is might have been the max because that's when we get to 30 heart containers but I think that's just where we max out our health our attack can still probably go up so it can be extra overpowered also our defense is going up when we level up so it means we'll take less damage which is also kind of basically the same as getting more hearts but different as well in the, in the same kind of way so there's lots of things that we can still improve on that's just going to make us super powered. Oh my goodness, get up, Link. Fly Rush, thank you, and Sweet Point Smash. Doesn't look like there's any Koroks down here, so let's keep going up. Let's see what we can find. Oh, there's one up here somewhere. Probably. Like, just here somewhere. But where? Right there, okay. I don't know how I would have missed that, though. But okay, that's the third one, I think. So, if that, if there is any more, there's probably just one. So let's just go along this path. As I said, it's not going to be easy... <laughs> It's, it's not going to be easy to lose miss a Korok. It's, it's fairly easy to find them, since the Korok Center is on a small path. This is not happy. This is not happy. Okay. Just do that. Oh, get up, Link. Okay. Quick point smash. We might be getting close to another croc if there is another one. Otherwise, we've probably got them all. Ow. It's gonna go straight through them. This seems like a good spot for grinding them at least. As long as I feel like actually doing that. I remember being here in episode, like, 10? I can't even remember how long ago it was. And then seeing this. It's just been such a long time since then. Oh. What? Well, let's take this out. Let's use a special. Will this actually defeat it in one go? Not quite, but it's still fairly close. Let's blow him up as well. That should help. Come on. Come on. He's not getting up. Now he is. Okay. This is fine. And he's dead. Okay. No Korok sensor so far around here. And there's only one more path up the mountain to go. So we're getting fairly close to the end already. Head for Death Mountain. But this whole thing is Death Mountain technically. Just... Okay, never mind. I guess this is just the mountain area and then the higher up on the mountain is Death Mountain? I... I never... I haven't understood that at all. It just doesn't seem to make much sense to me. Just call the whole thing Death Mountain. Ow! Okay. Everything's fine. Just need to go along this road a little bit more. Just ignoring a few things. Oh, Korok nearby. Probably right here. Nope. It's nearby though. Very nearby. Let me zoom in on the map. And let's see what I'm looking at. So it seems... Like it's meant to be right here. Oh, it's there. Very well blended in because of the colors. And possibly also the bro the rock over here blending it in. Like, um, like that kind of thing. Because you turn around and you just don't see it. It's a good spot for hiding it. Okay. I think that's all the Koroks 
on here now, but I'm not sure. So I'm probably just going to cut ahead and see what I can find. Oh uh, no, Link, why do you get stuck on rocks randomly? So I haven't found a croc yet, but I realized that there's still a one more treasure chest to get at the, at the top of the mountain, so we're going to go get that and then probably finish up. Huh? Just go through all of you. So it's like around here somewhere, just a little bit further up the mountain. I'm going to take out this whiz robe so since he's annoying me right now. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to get through. Goodbye. Bit of overkill. Okay. Where is the treasure chest? Right there. Cool. And that should be everything. So I'm going to leave you for now. Okay, we got everything in there. And now it's one week later now. So, now that that's done, we're still in chapter 2 and we have one more level left. But before I do that, I think I'm actually just gonna have a look at what's available to us. Because there is this over here that we can do. Pursuing ancient power. Calamity Ganon craves ancient power. It falls upon you to feed its, this hunger or leave the appetite unanswered. That's a lot of ancient cause. And guardian trophies. Although we've got a lot of guardian trophies, apparently. After it absorbed malice from a guardian, Calamity Ganon's destructive potential became even stronger. Extra special bar for Ganon. Calamity Ganon. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, but how much? That's the last... Okay. That's the last of... Oh, can I actually buy that? Can I actually buy that? Oh my goodness. Amazing. Actually amazing. Nocturnal life force. Calamity Ganon craves the power of creatures who lurk in darkness. It falls upon you to feed this hunger or leave the appetite unanswered. After it absorbed malice from some keys, Calamity Ganon's um, Malan life force became even stronger. Clement again gets an extra heart. And a Kala has been completed. Get 50 opals. The hope of Akala. Help those with problems in the Akala region to make the world a happier place. A you helped everyone with problems in Akala and received some things useful for combat. You have raised everyone's spirits and made the world somewhat brighter. We get stealth tights. Woohoo! Stealth tights! Okay. Now that that's done, what else is available? I don't think I can get those parts there. Oh, but I can get them there once I actually finish up with the rest of the Korok hunting. That's kind of the thing at the moment, I'm just doing Korok hunting. So let's have a look at... Don't, don't do that, please. The Yiga clan attacks. Need to actually switch in Link, please. Uh, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't switch in Link? But do I get to actually use him? I don't... No, if I, I'm gonna figure this out and I'll see you all next time.